megalithic temples of Malta. Seven megalithic temples are found on the islands of Malta and Gozo, each the result of an individual development. The two temples of Gantije on the island of Gozo are notable for their gigantic Bronze Age structures. On the island of Malta, the temples of Hagarkin, Najra and Tarxian are unique architectural masterpieces, given the limited resources available to their builders. The Telgrat and Skarba complexes show how the tradition of temple building was handed down in Malta. The megalithic temples of Malta, Gantija, Hagarkim, Nistra, Skarba, Tahagrat and Tarxian, are prehistoric monumental buildings constructed during the 4th millennium BC and the 3rd millennium BC. They rank amongst the earliest freestanding stone buildings in the world and are remarkable for their diversity of form and decoration. Each complex is a unique architectural masterpiece and a witness to an exceptional prehistoric culture renowned for its remarkable architectural, artistic and technological achievements. Each monument is different in plan, articulation and construction technique. They are usually approached from an elliptical forecourt in front of a concave facade. The facade and internal walls consist of upright stone slabs, known as orthostats surmounted by horizontal blocks. The surviving horizontal masonry courses indicate that the monuments had corbelled roofs, probably capped by horizontal beams. This method of construction was a remarkably sophisticated solution for its time. The external walls are usually constructed in larger blocks set alternately face out and edge out, tying the wall securely into the rest of the building. The space between the external wall and the walls of the inner chambers is filled with stones and earth, binding the whole structure together. Typically, the entrance to the building is found in the center of the facade, leading through a monumental passageway onto a paved court. The interiors of the buildings are formed of semicircular chambers usually referred to as apses, symmetrically arranged on either side of the main access. The number of apses varies from building to building, some have three apses opening off the central court, whilst others have successive courts with four, five, and in one case even six apses. The temple builders use locally available stone of which they had a thorough knowledge. They used hard coral and limestone for external walls and the softer Globidrina limestone for the more sheltered interiors and decorated elements. Decorated features found within the buildings bear witness to a high level of craftsmanship. These elements consist mainly of panels decorated with drilled holes and bar relief panels depicting spiral motifs, trees, plants and various animals. The form and layout of these buildings, as well as the artifacts found within them, suggest they were an important ritual focus of a highly organized society.